Hello my dear students, Bina ma'am here. I hope you all are taking care of yourself and staying positive. Great. All right. Today we are uh, going to talk about some of the uh, small numericals or problems which could be asked under the section of IP datagram and maybe in the compulsory section or non-compulsory section in your papers. So this lecture is completely dedicated to small problems related to IP datagram. In my previous lecture or rather video, we had already talked about IP datagram and its entire uh, structure. So we talked about each and every field in that particular video lecture. Now uh, let's take up example number one. It's a very easy example but sometimes could be tricky to solve. It says an IP packet has arrived with the first 8 bits leftmost as shown below 01000010. The receiver discards the packet. Why? Now whenever you get a binary sequence like this, you should be very well versed with the format of IP datagram. Now we are already aware that the first 4 bits of the IP datagram are dedicated for the version field. Now the version that is used is a IPv4. So naturally, the 4 bits should represent number 4, that is 0, 1, 0, 0 should represent number 4. And in this case, it represents number 4, that is what? There is an error in this packet. Now what sort of error we need to find out? The 4 leftmost bits, 0, 1, 0, 0 shows the version which is correct. We know that it is number 4 and 0, 1, 0, 0 stands for number 4. Now the next 4 bits in the given sequence are 0, 0, 1, 0 which shows the header length. Next 4 bits were dedicated in the format for the header length. This means that 2 into 4 is equal to 8 which is wrong. Why it is wrong? Because our header starts from 20 and it goes up to 60 bytes but we are getting an answer as 8. So, we can say that because HLEN field uses 8 bytes, which is wrong, we should be actually getting anything between 20 bytes to 60 bytes, but we are getting number 8. So, this section is corrupted, that's why the entire packet is discarded. So, you understood this particular problem. It could be that some parts are correct but you should identify which parts are wrong because of which the packet is discarded. So students is example number one clear? Great. We will go to example number two. It says that in an IP packet the value of HLEN is 1000 in binary. How many bytes of options are being carried by this packet? Now the solution is over here. I'll, let me just take few minutes to explain to you the solution. The HLEN field value is 8. Why? Because 1000 is number 8. Which means the total number of bytes in the header is 8 into 4. 4 why? Because if I have to convert everything into bytes, I have to always multiply it by 4. So 8 into 4 is 32 bytes. Now 32 bytes, the first 20 bytes is the main header. Okay. So, out of 32, 20 bytes are dedicated to my main header. So, what remains are the 12 bytes. So, my option field which is carried by this packet is 12 bytes. Very simple, isn't it? Great. Now, we will go to example number 3. Example number 3 says that in an IP packet, the value of HLEN is 5. Now this time they have given the value in hexadecimal and not in binaries. We already know that binary of 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. And the value of the total length field is 0, 0, 2, 8. Again it is in hexadecimal. We can convert it into binary. How many bytes of data are being carried by this packet? This is simple, slight modification. Let's look at the solution. The HLEN value which is given is 5. 
which means the total number of bytes in the header is 5 into 4 which is 20 bytes. I had already mentioned in my previous video that whenever there is a number 5 in HLEN the option field is 0 that is there are no options. Now they have asked us about the data which is being carried by this packet. The total length is given to us 28 which becomes 40 bytes which means the packet is carrying 20 bytes of data. Total is total length is 40 bytes out of which 20 bytes have already gone for the header. So what remains is a 20 bytes. So 20 bytes of data is being present in this particular packet. Now 20 how 20 data length is equal to total length minus header length which is 40 minus 20 and that's how the data bytes which are being carried by this packet is 20 bytes. Fine. Okay. We will go to the next example number 4. An IP packet has arrived with the first few hexadecimal digits as shown below. This is the stream of hexadecimal digits. Now they are asking about the hops. How many hops can this packet travel before being dropped? The data along uh, data belong to which upper layer protocol? So here our focus is entirely on TTL field and on the protocol field. Let's look at the solution. To find the TTL, TTL stands for time to live field. You are already aware that in order to skip time to live field, field we have to skip first 8 bytes. 8 bytes means 16 hexadecimal digits. Please students try and understand 1 bit in hexadecimal means 4 bits in binary. So if I have to talk about 8 binary bits means 1 byte I have to talk about 2 hexadecimal bits. So, 1 hexadecimal bit is equal to 4 bits in binary. So, 2 hexadecimal bits is equal to 8 bits in binary. This you have to always remember. Alright. Now, I have to, I said that I have to skip 16 hexadecimal digits. And this is given in hexadecimal. So, first 16 hexadecimal digits I skip. After that, what I get? Where I reach is TTL field. The field shows 0, 1. Now time to live field is the ninth byte. Please remember which in this case is 0, 1. Now this means that 0, 1 hai, so packet can travel only one hop. After it travels one hop, the router decrements this. Please understand I had explained it in my previous video. 0, 1 se ye ho jayega 0, 0. So, one hop and it decrements, another hop and it decrements. The router counter will stop once it is 0, 0. So, 0, 1 hai, so it can take only one hop or it can travel only, go to only one router. Now, they have asked how many hops. So, my packet can take only one hop. The protocol field, they have asked. Now, the protocol field is the next byte. In this case it is 0, 2. Now why 2 bytes I have taken? Because 2, two bits why I have taken? Because 2 bits equals to 8 bits in binary and protocol field supports 8 bits. Okay. Now my protocol is 0, 2. If you can recollect 0, 2 belongs to a protocol which is IGMP. So, the protocol for me the answer is IGMP. Clear? Okay. Now, the entire protocol TTL, version, options, total length, header length, everything has been covered in previous four examples. Our next example focuses on the fragmentation aspect. The packet has arrived with an m-bit value of 0. Is this the first fragment? 
the last fragment or the middle fragment do we know if the packet was fragmented m is equal to 0 matlab more fragments ka flag is 0 when when m is equal to 0 it means that there are no more fragments which are present and this fragment is the last fragment now do we know if the packet was fragmented we cannot say whether the packet was fragmented or not because the value of d is not yet specified a non fragmented packet may also can be considered as the last fragment okay is this clear now let's go to example number 6 a packet has arrived with a m bit value of 1 is this the first fragment the last fragment or the middle fragment do we know if the packet was fragmented now here the value of m is 1 it means that there is at least one more fragment matlab one fragment is still to come more fragments are still to come but at least the worst case one fragment is there which is about to come this fragment can be either the first one or the middle one but not the last one why because here the m is value is 1 that means it is worst case it is second last but not the last one now in order we don't know if the if it is the first one or the middle one because we need to have more information about the value of fragmentation offset which is not given in this problem however we can definitely say the original packet has been fragmented because the value of m is 1 in our previous example we definitely could say that there was no fragmentation because value of m was equal to 0 okay great clear now we go to our next example okay so uh, this was our example with regards to the process of fragmentation All right, so these small problems may be a part of your, uh, may be com uh, coming in your exams as a part of your compulsory questions or maybe during your vivas. I thought of taking up these uh, problems so that you can get a fairly good idea about the IP datagram and its contents. All right. Thank you students. Happy learning. Bye.